Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about this really cool looking depth of field effect found on the iPhone 7 Plus in iOS 10.1. So with iOS 10 being released just around a week ago, it was kind of surprising to see a beta for developers already, and actually there's going to be a public beta coming this Friday, we heard from TechCrunch earlier today, so if you're holding out for the public beta, it'll just be like two more days before you can get your hands on it. But as for the developer beta, I thought we would see a little bit more change than we actually did see. Like. The only feature we really found so far was exclusively for the iPhone 7 Plus, and we're going to dig into that in just a moment. But as for the iPhone 7 and every other iOS device capable of running iOS 10, I personally have not discovered any other changes, which is a little bit disappointing, but this is only beta 1, of course things definitely have room and time to change in the future. But back to this depth of field effect, because although I don't even own an iPhone 7 Plus, and many of you probably don't either, I think it's important to talk about because it's a pretty big feature. More or less, it allows you to create photos that look like they've been taken with a DSLR. And if you're not sure what a DSLR is, no worries, it's just like an interchangeable camera, at least that's how I think of it. Your Canons, your Nikons, your Panasonics, and the point being that those are usually very expensive, but you get a nice photo for the price. Well now on the iPhone 7 Plus, you pay seven or eight hundred dollars for a phone, and you can get these really shallow depth of fields that create a lot of distance between the background, like a lot because that's why it's so blurred, and very sharp cues on the subject themselves. So overall, I would love to be able to test this out as you can see these pictures on screen look kind of incredible. I would not have believed that these were taken on an iPhone. I would have said, of course you need a thousand, two thousand dollar DSLR to make these possible, but Apple's been doing some pretty creative stuff with this dual camera system, and maybe one day they'll be able to bring some aspect of it to all the other iOS devices, but as for now, that's for the iPhone 7 Plus. If you want to learn more about iOS 10.1 or if new changes are discovered, I'll be sure to link it up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more stuff similar to this. I've been Sam, hit like if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.